Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next set of questions. The first question is define one diopter of power of a lens. Second, a convex lens forms a real and inverted image of a needle at a distance of 15 cm from it. Where is the needle placed in front of the convex lens if the image is equal to the size of the object? Also find the power of the lens. Third question is find the power of a concave lens of focal length 2 meter. Alright, so let's solve the first question. The first question says define one diopter of power of a lens. Now we know the power of a lens is given by the reciprocal of its focal length expressed in meter. Power of a lens is expressed in the unit of diopter and one diopter means it's one meter inverse. Now let us define one diopter of power of a lens. One diopter is the power of a lens whose focal length is one meter. Let there be two lenses. This is a convex lens and this is a concave lens. And when a ray of light comes parallel to the principal axis, after refraction, it passes through the focus. So this is the focus. And if this distance is one meter, then the power of this lens is said to be one diopter. Similarly, in this concave lens, if this is the focal length and if this distance is 1 meter, we say that the power of this concave lens is 1 diopter. So this is the definition of the power of a lens whose value is 1 diopter. I hope you have understood it. Let's go over to the next question. The next question is that we have a convex lens which forms a real and inverted image of a needle at a distance of 50 centimeter from it. That means this is the image distance. So the image is formed at a distance of 50 centimeter from it, which is a real and inverted image. So we'll have to find out where is the needle placed in front of the lens. And there is a condition given over here is that the image size is equal to the object size. And we have to find out the power of this lens. So first let's draw the diagram. So this is a convex lens. And the image which is formed is real and inverted. Now we know if the image is real and inverted, it has to be formed on the other side of the lens that is towards the right. So this is our image and the object is somewhere here on the left hand side. So this is our height of the object and this is the height of the image because the image here is a real and inverted image height of the object is in positive quantity because it's lying above the principal axis whereas the height of the image is a negative quantity because it's lying below the principal axis. Now the condition is given here that height of the image is equal to the height of the object. So we know that magnification is given by height of the image by height of the object and here it's given that hi is equal to ho. So the magnification value would be height of the image is in negative quantity. So it's minus hi and height of the object is equal to the height of the image. So for that I can write here hi because ho is equal to hi. Now these two cancels. So magnification we get here is minus 1. So the magnification of this lens is minus 1. Now we know the magnification value is given by v by u plus v by u for a lens. So writing down minus 1 in place of magnification we get image distance is 50 centimeter given that is plus 50 because to measure the image distance we have to go to the right from the optical center. So it is plus 50 by object distance we don't know. So the object distance is minus 50 centimeter. So our object distance is minus 50 centimeter that is the object is placed at a distance of 50 centimeter from the optical center towards the left. Now we have to find out the power of this lens. So in order to find out the power, we know the power formula is the reciprocal of focal length expressed in meter. So we have to find out the focal length first. So for that we will be using the lens formula. So using lens formula, using lens formula, we write 1 by f is 1 by v minus 1 by u. So 1 by v is 50 and u is minus 50. So it is 1 by 
50 plus 1 by 50 which is 2 by 50 that is 1 by 25. So here we get the value of F is plus 25 cm. So this is the focal length of this lens. So the focal length of this lens is plus 25 centimeter which is equal to plus 0 0.25 meter. Why did we express it in meter? Because in order to measure the power, focal length has to be in meter. So now we can directly substitute in the formula, power is 1 by plus of 0 0.25 meter, which is 100 by 25. This meter, if it goes to the numerator, it is minus 1, which is 4 meter inverse which is 4 diopter because 1 diopter is 1 meter inverse. So, for 1 meter inverse, we replaced it by 1 diopter. So, the final answer is the power of this lens is plus 4 diopter. So, this is the answer to this second question. Let's solve the next one. The third question is find the power of a concave lens of focal length 2 meter. So, the focal length of this lens is given as 2 meter but we know the power of a concave lens is negative so the focal length is minus 2 meter and power formula is given by the reciprocal of its focal length expressed in meter that is 1 by 2 meter minus so it is minus 0 0.5 meter inverse which is minus 0 0.5 diopter because 1 meter inverse is 1 diopter. So, this was an easy question. So, the power of this concave lens is minus 0 0.5 d. So, now I hope you have understood the solutions to these three questions. If this video was helpful to you, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.